Hey, it's Ken and welcome back to my channel. I guess uh, at least one of you has been probably wondering where have I been? I thought he wasn't gonna store the bike for the winter. Well, New Jersey has been nothing but snow, ice, sleet, rain, and a lot of salt on the roads. Not good for a bike. So lucky for me, I had a chance to get away. This is what I was dealing with uh, before I decided, let's, uh, let's take a little break. So the wife and I packed the bags and headed off to the beautiful little island of Aruba. Of course, I went to the Harley store there, and of course, I bought a Harley shirt for Baruba. <laughs> Had to have that, and uh, they didn't have poker chips, so I didn't get one of those. But uh, we did see the two stores. One was pretty much closed up by the port where all the uh, cruise ships were. I think it was five or six cruise ships that were docked there for the last year because of COVID. So the port city is uh, was having uh, some hard times. Uh, we got around the island pretty easily. Uh, we rented a car. Went up and down every single side street we could see what the uh, what the island was really all about. And uh, again, it just didn't make sense to rent the bike. I didn't think I was going to see anything special, or I, it, I didn't think I was going to enjoy the bike. Actually, I thought it was going to be uh, just a waste of money. And again, just something I would have been able to say I did, but I didn't feel the need to say that. So uh, I put it off this time. Oh, but I did miss my bike, and when I got back, I swore I was going to jump on it the first day I could. And uh, so I did. Okay, so just got back from Aruba. 82 degrees every day. Absolutely beautiful. And I was going to rent the bike, but I never did. I don't know why. Actually, the island's so small, I didn't think it was worth it. 20 miles long. After about an hour or two, you get bored. And uh, too many other things going on over there. The beautiful sun and the beaches and everything else. So, uh, got home, missed the bike, jumping on it now, 30 degrees, snow on the ground, gotta get on the bike. A little chilly, not too bad. It had rained two days before I took the bike out, and uh, I thought it washed off a lot of salt, but when I took a ride, I got back, uh, the bike was covered in salt, covered in salt. And that means uh, turning my outside spigots back on because I don't want them to freeze, pulling out a hose that was in storage, and just rinsing the bike down to get all that salt off. I just did a quick rinse, uh, knowing that a couple days later, the weather was supposed to be like 50 degrees, and I would do a good wash after I rode it that day. So, of course, that second day I did get to ride, two days later, um, three days later. Uh, it was in the 50s, beautiful. Took a ride up to Lakewood, uh, New Jersey, Ocean County, Harley, and bought a couple of parts. And then I headed out Route 70 toward uh, Manchester. And uh, I saw it coming. I was in the left lane, and the guy in the right lane, I just knew it was coming. He came right over on me, and I was prepared and backed off and uh, kept myself from getting clipped. Uh, this, I try to try to be as observant as possible. I just read this guy like a book and knew that he was going to probably come over on my lane. He had no reason to, but of course he did. Never saw me, and uh, I was able to make a good prejudgment and back off uh, before he actually did. So uh, you know, a little, a little uh, nerve wracking, but uh, it's what's expected when you ride. So I finished out the rest of that ride. Uh, probably two hours on the bike, had a great day, and uh, got home, 
pulled the hose out again, turned the outside water on, and gave it a real nice wash. So right now it's my work schedule and family again that's holding me up from getting back on the bike, but uh, next nice day or, or so, temperature's not a problem. It's, uh, the roads are still, still pretty salty. Um, I think we need a really good rain or two days of rain to get the salt off the road. Uh, I don't mind washing the bike after, that's fine. But the salt, if you don't get it off, it's it's horrible on M bikes. At this point, all I'm doing is dreaming of the warmer weather. Again, I'll ride in this cold, but uh, I'm dreaming of the warmer weather. I'm going to get on that bike every single chance I can get. So again, thanks for watching and keep following. Uh, subscribe and like, and uh, hopefully I have a lot more videos coming in the near future. Again, I just uh, New Jersey is what New Jersey is. And Aruba is what Aruba is.